the Bitcoin bull market, is it really starting? Not yet, not yet. It's almost there. Bull market for Bitcoin is almost there. So it's the price of Bitcoin has been hovering around 67,000, 68,000. It went up to 69,000. Now it goes back to 67,000, almost 66,000 Masani hovering around that area. Let's look at this, the most volatile uh, time of the year, 5th November 2024, US election countdown. Now this is the current national polls. This is the latest one. Lah. So by looking at this number or by looking at this statistic, Kamala Harris is actually heading 48% and we have Trump 46.6%. And of course, this this poll is coming from ABC News. We don't know how much reliable ABC News anyway, by the way. Tapi this is the current poll and every day it keeps on changing. Of course, I don't care. We don't want to know. You are entitled to your own opinion, uh, which president you like. If you don't like both, I totally understand. But if you have preference one over the other, you are entitled to your own opinion, your own political views. So, but looks like from the ABC News, Harris 48%, Trump 46.6%. As of 25th October, I'm not sure if you are aware, the US, there is the largest poly market. Poly market is actually the largest gambling site in the world. They gamble almost everything, anything and everything. They bet on the, who's the next president, they bet who's going to win the euro, they bet what is the next price of Bitcoin, they bet on NFL, they bet on everything. They just bet on everything. It's a gambling site. So I'm not actually promoting gambling punya site, all right? If you're a Muslim or no, it's haram. <laughs> it's haram to gamble. But if you look at the website, poly market, let's look at what the poly market says. You see, it says here election nine days, nine days away from the election, 5th November. And now from the poly market, Ramai Orang Betting, Trump is going to win. 64.3% is going to Trump, and Harris is going to lose 35.7%. The poly market, I don't know what's the statistic of poly market. How often you lose, so often you sell, I don't know. Tapi looks like poly market is heading towards Trump. Now, regardless, Trump wins, Harris wins, there's going to be a significant reaction. So this is the biggest sentiment in US or probably in the whole world. Trump wins, Harris wins, what's going to happen? We'll see. So let's look at index the whole look. Apart to index, index ini sebenarnya is actually a collection of companies, ETF, digabungkan dalam satu basket, and then performance-nya dimeasured. S&P 500, top 500 companies in US, it shows the all-time high performance. This is all-time high, by the way. So the market has been doing really well. If you invest in ETF dari awal, in beginning of 2024 up until now, it shows a nice steady increase of your profit, 30 to 40%. I mean, look at, look at now the MACD, moving average convergence and divergence. The MACD line, the blue line is above the signal line. And the, the green histogram shows a strong momentum. Masih ada buying power. As you know, 2020 ada COVID, it went down and it should win back again and goes down shoots back up again s p 500 dow jones industrial average index all-time high sudah actually right at forty-three thousand points histogram green strong momentum macd line above signal line strong momentum let's look at nasdaq nasdaq in its collection of technology company so all the microsoft meta tesla all this technology punya company. NVIDIA, they all semua dalam Nasdaq. And it shows, it pernah reach all-time high. So market is doing really, really well. All right, kalau kamu ada invest dalam money, for sure kamu akan nampak hijau dalam kamu punya portfolio. Gold, if you adalah investor in gold, penyimpan emas, kamu memang masa ni senyum lah sebab emas yang kamu simpan tu harganya naik. Emas meningkat ke all-time high, 2758.45. Congratulations for you all yang simpan emas. Let's look at Bitcoin. This is monthly chart. If you look properly, sama macam gold punya, gold punya chart pattern is actually hovering at 66,000. All-time high price, 73,000. It's actually almost at the all-time high price. It's been hovering since 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 months. Selama 8 bulan, price-nya berlegar-legar di sini. Waiting for sentiment. News untuk dia breakout which is 
the election. ETF sudah happen, Bitcoin ETF sudah happen. That's why tadi nampak this price increase. Remember the Bitcoin halving, it happened this year. And then we have Bitcoin ETF already happened this year. Hence this price increase. Now we're waiting for another important event, the election. So this is the current Bitcoin price. Adakah ia berjaya break this resistance 73,000 and move to 80,000, which is the key level 80,000. We have 75,000 key level, 80,000 key level, 85, 90, 95, and you know, that's the resistance. But currently Bitcoin price 66, 67,000. Is it going to fly? We shall find out. This is monthly, monthly punya chart, Bitcoin. Let's look at weekly. If you look properly, this is the resistance line. This is the support line. This is the cup and handle. Roughly, if you look at weekly, you already break out, then ada pullback. That's why you see this red candle this ini. Adakah ia pullback? Naik, pull back and then shoot up. Who knows? However, let's look at MACD di bawah. MACD ni apa artinya? Something is brewing up. Kalau kamu lihat this blue line, MACD line, and then the signal line which is the orange line, it's about to overlap, showing about bullish, showing some bullishness sign. Kalau kamu lihat di sini, line biru atas, line orange di bawah, hijau, boom, naik. Biru atas, boom. Hijau. Biru atas, ada sikit momentum. That's why sikit. And we have line biru atas, signal line, histogram, boom. And we have this one. Is bull run going to happen? What do you think? Is bull run going to happen? Huh? Aku excited, nervous, anxious, fear, mixed up. This is the weekly chart of Bitcoin. It's been hovering at this price. 68, 66, 67,000. Now we are nine days away from the election, guys. Look, Paul Tudor. Paul Tudor ni billionaire. Look at this. This is dia punya Twitter. <laughs> so in 2020, masa CNBC interview, dia dah mention Paul Tudor has 2% of his asset in Bitcoin. Look what happened after that. Boom. Look at the MACD line. Okay, done. Khalas. In 2023, Paul Tudor, Jones. I like Bitcoin and I like gold. Look at the price. Look at the candle. Boom. Just now, a few days ago, billionaire hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones says, all roads lead to inflation. I'm long gold and Bitcoin. So look at the chart. Something is going to happen. And you know Trump, siapa support ke dia? Elon Musk. Uh, what will happen to price of crypto or Bitcoin especially? If Trump wins, Elon Musk wins. If Elon Musk wins, Dogecoin wins, crypto wins, Tesla, Tesla stock going to win. Now, this is Bloomberg. Bitcoin option traders eye for 80,000, no matter who wins US election. It will go to 80,000, at least 80,000, no matter who wins US election. Standard chartered, Bitcoin could hit 125,000 by end of year if Republicans sweep the US election. If the Republicans sweep Congress, our year and target level of USD 125,000 should come into view. If Harris wins, we see Bitcoin initially trading lower, but still ending 2024 at fresh highs around 75,000. So, year punya prediction, if Trump wins 125,000, if Harris wins, ia pull back, trading lower, tapi akan naik semula ke 75,000. Microsoft to vote for or against assessment of investing in Bitcoin during shareholder meeting. Kenapa tiba-tiba cakap mau invest in Bitcoin? Sebab they found out Microsoft ni, bila you, let, bila, bila you lihat arah micro strategy, micro strategy is a company yang banyak membeli Bitcoin tahun ini. All the extra cash dalam micro strategy isipan dalam Bitcoin and durang punya profit just on bitcoin shoots to 300% just this year pasal durang put their money on bitcoin hence microsoft was thinking hey should we follow micro strategy should we vote yes or no should we put our extra cash dalam bitcoin macam micro strategy this is a big news let's look at microsoft siapa sebenarnya durang ni this is the top 7 companies by market cap apple nombor 1 di dunia nvidia we know Nvidia is on crypto, graphic card for mining Bitcoin. Microsoft yang ketiga. Imagine 
Microsoft start membeli Bitcoin, what happened to the other? What happened to the rest? And who owns Microsoft, by the way? Who owns Microsoft? Look, Vanguard number satu. Of course, number dua BlackRock. Now let's let, let's look at dua dua geng ni. Vanguard, we have BlackRock. Dua ni is probably most most of big companies in the world owned by these people. They are managing trillion of dollars of asset under management. Of course, Vanguard doesn't like BlackRock, tapi who cares in this case? Now, BlackRock owns almost everything. Now, by the way, BlackRock ni, I'm sure you know, dia orang ada their own ETF, iBit. They have their own Bitcoin ETF, BlackRock. So, BlackRock actually owns a huge amount of Bitcoin, billions of dollars. BlackRock owns Bitcoin, banyak. BlackRock also owns Microsoft. Imagine during meeting. I'm the BlackRock, that is Microsoft. I think you should invest in Bitcoin. Aku memujuk Microsoft. Look at our profit just for last year. We have our own Bitcoin. Look, look at our number. Look at the number. Then Microsoft says, hmm, shut up. <laughs> If Microsoft starts venturing into Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, it's it's changing. Oh, something is going to change real big, real big. And imagine other companies, it will follow suit. BlackRock, mereka mau beli Bitcoin. Coba lihat. They have 392,000 Bitcoin. Banyak gila. Satu Bitcoin pun kita payah-payahan. Now, this is the amount of Bitcoin they have. 392,121.2. And the value today is 26 billion. Oh, 26 billion. Okay. Who owns Microsoft? BlackRock. Will BlackRock influence Microsoft? Will BlackRock influence the shareholders' job? 